Hello and welcome to Page Trick Counting 2012 tutorial. This is Gigi with IS on Networks LLC. Today we're going to talk about how do you maintain your Page Trick Accounting software to have the accurate and most current data. And one of the tricks that everyone needs to do is to maintain that database. And one of the most important way to maintain your database is to make sure that you are customers or your vendors, your inventory and your employees or banking information is current. So imagine the scenario that you used to work with this particular client and they either close or you no longer work with them. You don't want to see them in your client um, view because that will take you forever to get through the rest of the other clients that you actually work with. Or if you're printing out a report, it shows that you still work with them when you really don't. So what you need to do is there's two things. The first one is to make sure that these clients become deactivated. So you wanna go to, say for example, I have a list of clients here on the right hand side. I have one company that has zero balance. So eh, let's assume that this guy just hasn't ordered with uh, our company for the last two years. So I wanna deactivate him. You can either double click on this client and then just click inactive and then save. Or you can go to your maintain if you have multiple clients that you wanna deactivate or inactive. Um, you want to go there and look for that clients right here and then click and then that's it okay so that will not show that client is inactive but if you've noticed it's still here even if it's already inactive that's the part to you of what you need to do so that this client will no longer display so you want to go to your view detailed lists and click on here, I say customer listed 35. But if I wanna hide my records, now my customers listed 31. So basically I have four inactive records and then 31 active records. So when I'm printing it out or I'm giving out this report to somebody that basically shows who are my existing client. Now in the future, if that client comes back to you or they have different names but the same information just show that and then you can just unclick this one and and that's it you're done so why is it important to inactive or deactivate the record or um, activate the record whatever is um, applicable well it's important because if you're creating a sales order for example and in reality, you only have 10 clients and then you have 200 clients in here to look for. That's pretty, that, that wastes a lot of time. So that's one of the most important thing. And also the, the fact is if you're creating reports for somebody to review your existing customers, they're going to think you have so many of them when you actually don't. So that's just to make your record accurate and more applicable and work faster to work with. I really recommend doing that and that goes with vendors it's, it's the same principle the same way of doing that your inventory and services your employee and payroll and your banking as well so that's that's it and if you guys uh, have additional questions uh, email me at support at isonetworks.com thank you